week, Steve Brown, and today in Entertainment City, we travel to the future and to space. First, the future, 2049 to be exact, for the long-awaited sequel to Blade Runner. Where are we going? Home. Critics are raving about Blade Runner 2049. Although they can't really say why, you'll apparently enjoy it best with as little foreknowledge as possible. Of course, we do know the film returns to Los Angeles of the future, as Ridley Scott's 1982 original did. It's 30 years after the events of that film, with a new generation of replicants and Blade Runners, plus one of the old guard, of course. What do you want? Terry Hart spoke with Harrison Ford and Ryan Gosling about following up a cult classic. How did either of you manage to keep at bay the pressure of what this actually means to the fans and these ideas that are being revisited from 35 years ago? I think I felt the, the pressure more on set to make sure we were capturing the potential of what we were making. It was so massive in scale and yet so intimate and personal at the same time. I didn't feel pressure. I felt encouragement from the fact that over, over 30 years the film had gained such acceptance, such uh, an influence on the culture. You know, I felt supported by that rather than concerned about it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> he killed you on that answer. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm learning. I had your job once. I was good at it. Blade Runner 2049 hits theaters today. I think everyone's going to want to see this. We're also taken to the future in the Orville. Not to a dystopian L.A., but to space. I want this to be an efficient ship, but also one that you're glad to be serving on. The new sci-fi comedy drama is the brainchild of Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane. We spoke to him about the Orville's relation to Star Trek. Some call it an homage, some call it a spoof. Here's what Seth says. I, I'd be lying if I said there weren't elements of love for that show. I mean, you know, we, we try to pluck tropes from, from everywhere and kind of infuse them with something new. You know, I grew up as a fan of all sci-fi. You know, nobody did it better than Star Wars and Star Trek. So anybody who, who does a sci-fi show is going to be influenced by those franchises. I think we're just a little more obvious about it. You know, you have, you have Seth MacFarlane, who is the biggest Trekkie of all time. There's definitely a head nod to it. There's, you know, a tip of the hat. Can I have one of these mints? Those are marbles. We're giving you one last chance. Catch new episodes of The Orville every Sunday on City. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown. Oh.